Good evening. Here we are at Marion Harding Stadium, Grant Middle School. We'll be getting, we're just about ready for kickoff here. The teams are taking the field. We've had a lightning delay, which caused the game to be a little bit late getting started. Uh, on the toss, the uh, Bowser Rebels won the toss. They're elected to kick off. Harding's going to receive. Harding will be going from right to left on your TV screens. Back deep for the presidents, A.J. Jones and L.J. Scott. Yeah, we'll be, we have a new, new broadcasting group here tonight. We've got Steve Vanderhoff along with myself, Ed Henning. Uh, Mike Lindsay has a case of laryngitis, so he can't talk as normal. So, therefore, he's going to be over here helping Steve out as far as commentary and doing our spotting for us. Bowser's lining up for the kickoff. They kick the ball from the center of the field. Number 42, Marta Van Reed is the kicking off for the Bowser Rebels. Short kick tonight. Just about like we saw last a uh, couple of weeks ago We're against by River the Valley. Presidents. River Valley a couple of weeks ago came out and did the short squib kicks, trying to keep the ball away from Jones and uh, Scott. First and 10 for the Presidents on the 33-yard line. Kobe Troutman coming in as quarterback for the Presidents. Coach Brady sends the play in. Harding breaks the huddle, comes out. They've got twins to the, twins to the left, tight end right, eye backfield. There's a snap. L.J. Scott, the ball carrier. Scott, the ball carrier, but jerks one. Breaks the second tackle. Carries the ball down to about the 49-yard awesome line. The first and 10 for the Presidents on the Toledo 48. Walker on the stop. Moves the ball down to the Bowser 49-yard line. Walker was on the stop for Toledo on that play. LJ lost his helmet in the play. We basically had to come out and have his helmet checked, to make sure it's uh, legal enough to go back in and play, make sure he didn't break any straps or anything. Uh, big rule this year as far as the concussions and things like that. Uh, LJ then had to come off the field and have his, have his helmet checked out. Harding with the ball now, first down and 10 at the uh, Bowser 48. They come out with a uh, right formation. They've got a tight end and split right. Offset backs. Looks like an isolation Keontae play. Rogers with the ball. Looks like a loss of three. Hey, Steve, I look down there on the field, and I see that number 77. He looks like a real man. I don't know how, what his height and weight are. We didn't get any on our program, but he's a, he's a big kid. High backfield. Looks backfield. like a counter play. LJ gets the LJ ball, goes Scott up about eight ball. yards. It's like he's about short two here, going to bring up a third down and two. About four. Harding's trying to stay in the drive here early in the game. I got about 10-29 here in the first quarter. We got a third down and four on the Bowser 42. I'd expect to Tied see LJ right. again here. Twins right, tight end left, eye backfield. Looks like an ice LJ rolling. Scott looks like he gets the first down. Scatterfield for Toledo on the stop. First and 10 presidents on the 37 of Toledo. Harding breaks the huddle. Comes out with the right formation, tight end, split right. Or flanker right, split left. Offset backfield. Three step drop, Kobe. slant play, a little bit high out of reach. Ball is incomplete. Pass intended for Nathan Endo. Right. 
Toss to L.J. Scott. There's a kick out block. L.J. cuts it inside. Got Looks a like flag, a flag on the play, coach. Piece of laundry. It's hard to say. Came from the defensive backfield. Looks like a hold against the presidents. That's with the preliminary indication. Holding. Yes, there it is. So it's going to nullify a long game for L.J. Second down and about, uh, what do you say, 16? 16 yards. Tell you, we've had a nice drive so far, Steve. It's really a shame to have the Harding team get backed up on us a little bit. They were moving the ball down the field. We haven't seen that in three weeks. Good to see LJ with the ball, carrying the ball with authority out there. We've got a slot to the right, split left, ace back back here. Fakes the toss, rolls left, incompleted pass. Brings up third and 16, Stephen. That pass was intended for Harrell. Play being sent in from the sideline. Kobe Troutman still at quarterback, comes out. Twins left, tight end right, offset to. It's like we have confusion out there. Harding's going to look like they're going to take a timeout. We'll take a slight break right now. This is Channel 18, Marion City Schools. Let's talk real natural beauty. It's elegant, it's effortless. It's Cambria natural court surfaces. I love Cambria because it makes any room drop dead gorgeous. And yet it's incredibly carefree. No sealing, no polishing, no special cleanup. And since Cambria quartz is naturally long lasting, it just gets better over time. Now that's a beautiful thing indeed. See for yourself the true beauty of Cambria. We're back here at Harding Stadium. Uh, coming out of a timeout, there's 9.28 to go in the first quarter. Uh, Marion Harding, zero. Toledo Bowser, zero. Again, Toledo Bowser playing in the uh, Toledo City League. Gonna make a long trek down here, a little over two hour drive for them. Harding comes out right out to the line of scrimmage. We got a third and 16 we got, on a the we got a slot left. Offset right, tight end right. Play action pass. Kobe with the ball, takes the upfield. Got a short gain, about two. Picks up about two, looks like we're gonna have to go to the punt. I don't know if they're gonna punt or go for it here. Ball's on the 40 yard line. It looks like they're gonna go for it, coach. Yeah, it does, huh? Fourth down and 13, that's a long stretch. I don't know, what do you think, Steve? Should we maybe a punt it here? I don't know. It could be a quick punt. No, it looks like Troutman. We're, we're in a slot formation. Play action pass again. Pressure from the backside. Oh, he's got to get rid of it, coach. Troutman the ball carrier. Yeah, in that situation, he's got to throw that ball away. He's got to throw. He's got to throw it over somebody's head, high and hard. Absolutely. Now we give Bowser's coming out. They're going to have good field position on our uh, about what 47-yard line going in. Easy to second guess, but maybe right there we should have punted the ball. Yeah, one thing I did read in the paper that Bowser is going to be one of those teams that's going to bring a lot of pressure in, mo in almost every situation, not only just the well, third and long, but even on a short yardage situation. They come right out. They got a triple stack eye with a split over here to the right, tight end left. Quarterback drew a quarterback. They're unbalanced. Form. They got a tight end left and unbalanced right. There's a double ISO. Good surge by the defensive line of Harding. They're coming out with that triple stack eye. Got a full back. We got three guys stacked behind the quarterback and an unbalanced line in that first play. I don't know what else they're going to do with this, but. 
Looks like, it's gonna, just like we said in the pregame, it's gonna be a power football. Nice tackle by George Scott on that play. Bowser breaks the huddle again, unbalanced to the right. Triple stack eye. Quarterback reverses out, gives to the third back. Bowser coming out, got a third down and 11 with 7.39 to go here in the first quarter. No score in the ball game. They Again, looks nothing but power football. And it looks like Harding's coming out, playing uh, anywhere between eight people in the box, eight or nine people in the box. Keeping everything between the tackles right now. You got a balanced front, you got a tight end this way, you got a power eye to the left. Counter, trap. And they stopped nice him short of the first down. Walter LeMasters. Got fourth down and three. Bowser looks like they're gonna go for it here. Yeah, but they only have three yards to go here, coach. About 6.50 to go in the first quarter. Bowser breaking the huddle. Unbalanced to the side again. Tight end to the left. Tri uh, triple stack eye. Reverse out, gives to the second back right there. All that and extra effort. He got the first down, it looks like, Steve. Yep, looks like that extra effort. It looked like he might have been stopped. I looked like we had him at the line of scrimmage. He just kept fighting us off. Bring a first down on the 34. First down and 10, ball just inside the Harding 35-yard line. Clock continues to run down in the first, uh, first half of six minutes and 25 seconds. Bowser breaks the huddle. Comes up with a balanced front, tight end right, split end left. Well, they got a tight end wing right. High backs, give the ball to the fullback straight ahead. Jonathan on the carry. Jonathan on the carry for Toledo. Trey Price on the tackle for the Prexies. Jobber on the top. Jobber on the top. Bowser breaks the huddle again. Balance set, tight end to the right. Split left, power eye to the left. Counter waggle, waggle. Quarterback's rolling out to the right, Toledo. dumps the ball. Johnson on the reception. Uh, waggle pass to us, basically you fake the ball, play action one way, quarterback keeps the ball. Rose on the opposite direction, looking for somebody to either throw the ball to underneath or deep, whatever's open. They set that pass up perfectly, running the ball up until then. Bowser breaking the huddle again. Tight end left, split right, power eye right. Counter. Ooh. Back should have been down. He went down for, with the ball. Lost a couple yards there, Steve. Scott on the tackle for Harding. Second 13 on the 22. Still have that drizzle going, Coach. You expecting another run here? We're going to keep the ball on the ground. I think they will on this play. They may, but, you know, it looks like the only time they want to throw is when it's third down. Eye backs again. Off of set power eye. Comes a toss outside. There's a kick out. Cut back. Another good defensive play by the Harding defense. They'll bring up a third and 11. Brock Madison on the tackle for Harding. This is not the kind of offense we saw last week out of Mansfield Senior. They had everything signaled in, no huddle, kept the pressure on the defense the whole time. Much more control type of an offense, coming out with a lot of power type looks. Two tight ends, fullback jump. It's like we got an illegal procedure, Coach. Illegal procedure against It's kind of the break we're looking for. We need a little something to get momentum back in our hands. Expecting a pass here now. 
Yeah, you're looking at third down and long. They, they probably will come out. You gotta watch that waggle pass, that counter, counter roll out. Again, a lot depends on the formation. They haven't put a whole lot as far as wide outs or uh, pass receivers to the field. Tight end right, power eye left with a split end that way. Comes out, fakes it, here's Waggle right. Waggle right, pressure's on him. Great pressure by the Presidents. Jordan Scott made a nice tackle. We have flags. That's Cormac Jewell. That's about, we've had one of those every game, wow, every week. I don't know what's going on. We've got to keep people back. we got to give up, find a, get a get back, oh, coach, and take care of on that. So it's still going to bring up fourth and 16. Looks like they may be putting. I see numbers coming on the field. we got fourth and what, fourth about and 30 yards to go here, coach. They're in lineup. We got two split outs, two up backs. AJ Jones back snap. to Harding. Decent punt. Gonna let it Signal go. fair catch. Ball sits down and yeah. did not roll. You got a wet field like that. That ball is just going to roll. Standing on the 10 yard line, you don't want that ball to go in the end zone. We're going to take a short break real quick right now. We're going to go to Channel 18, Marion City Schools. Hey, the game's about to start. We have the guys. They have obligations. We're back here at Hardy Stadium. 3.06 to go in the first quarter. Hardy got the ball on the about eight yard line. LJ Scott. LJ Scott. Scott powered his way out beyond the 10 yard line to about the 11. Reed on the stop. I'll bring up second two for Harding. Setting on the president's 16 yard line. That steady drizzle is gonna be affecting play here. That's why I think it's gonna be more of a power out. There's the counter play, there's LJ a again. guard. There's nice a cutback. blocking. Two or three moves run. there. LJ brings the ball out to Davis about the 43 yard line of Marion Harding. Line opened up a nice hole there for LJ. Substitution coming in for Bowser, the big guy, number 77, leaving the field. Maybe they're going to try to go with somebody who's a little bit faster now because they realize LJ's speed. President's coming out. They got a. Uh, uh, Right formation, offset eye. Here comes the pressure from the backfield. There's a toss. Oh, oh nice penetration. Somebody. Johnson on the tackle for Toledo. Did he just slip down there, Steve, or what? Yeah, it looked like he did. No. We got a second 13 for the president. Already coming back 34. out. Breaks the huddle. We got a right formation. Well, excuse me, a left formation. I off, offset left. Now it's offset right. Again, pressure coming from Bowser. We got Keontae Rogers with the ball. Flag on the play. Another flag out here from the sideline referee. Like preliminary calls holding on the president. Holding again on Harding. There we go. Got a good thing going against Steve, and we end up making a silly mistake. Made that same mistake down here, was moving the ball really well. Cost us a big uh, opportunity for a first down. But now we're looking again at second down and really long. Got forcing us to pass the ball under these weather conditions. Going to be tough. 120 to go in the first quarter. First ball back to the 22-yard line. Second and 23. Second and 23. Harding with the ball back on their own 22-yard line. Harding breaks the huddle. 
expect him to put him up, put it up in the air here, Coach. I don't know. It's still second down. They may still try to break LJ in a long run. There's a play action pass. Oh, Jones nice out here. Run. Great coverage. Incomplete. He was all over him. Pass was intended for Jordan Scott for Hardy. Third down and 23. Clock stopped, 59 seconds to go in the first quarter. Again, Marion Harding zero, Toledo Bowser zero. Harding breaking the huddle. We got a right tight formation. Offset left. Bowser again walking people up. Starting to see a little bit more lost, slipping out there. Lost another couple of yards. Yeah. Looking down fourth down and about 25. Harding forced to punt. Weather conditions could go and be a game of uh, field. Okay, so far we look like the better football team as far as being able to run in this kind of conditions. There's a snap. Eliminate the mistakes. Punts off, it's a low line drive punt. Touched by Toledo. They're scrambling for the ball. Ball still rolling still around. Going. Uh, referee signals to lead a ball. Rebels recover. Donovan Clark bobbled the first attempt, kicked the ball back. Harding did a nice job of kicking the uh, Donovan away from the ball. Ball started scrambling free. Toledo had lucky enough to fall on it. Toledo takes over first and 10 on the 43 yard line. We got 19 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Hardy needs a three and out to maintain, to get some good field position Dave, back here. The momentum right now is with us. We just got to keep get, get the ball back and move it in. Unbalanced to the right, eye backfield, isolation play. Kane Collins on the ball, carrying the ball there for a five yard gain. Got second down, second and five, ball on the Bowser 48, and that's the end of the first quarter. Marion Harding zero, Toledo Bowser zero. You've been watching a television 18, Marion City Schools telecom presentation. We're back here at Harding Stadium. We're beginning the second quarter. Toledo Bowser zero. Toledo Bowser with the ball on the 48-yard line. Second five. Two tights, flanker right, high backfield, long count. Ah, uh, there's the isolation. Good stop by Good Harding. Tackles by Harding. Lamaster on the tackle for Harding. Brings up a third and three. This is a big play here, Steve. Third down and three. If we can stop them right here, we can force them to punt and we can get that ball back. Bowser breaks the huddle. Got uh, looks like two tight ends. High backfields, flanker to the right. There's the counter play to the right. Oh, and an extra like effort's going to get the first down. Jordan Scott First made the tackle for Harding. Yard 
Clock continues to run. One thing about this, Steve, it's, it's a fast ball game. Not a lot of passing, not a lot of incompletions. Clock continues to run. Bowser breaks the huddle. Two tight ends, flanker right. So you got basically what we call a uh, right tight formation, high backfield. Give the ball to the fullback straight ahead. Johnson carrying the ball for Toledo. Brought down by Jordan Scott for Harding. Got a second four with about 10.40 to go in the half. Bowser breaks the huddle. They got a left tight formation, eye backfield. Looks like Bowser might have lined up off sides. Sure did. That's a, that's a good thing for us, Steve. We needed that. I don't think they're going to come out throwing. I think they're still going to stay with their ground game unless they absolutely have to throw. Bowser brings a play in from the sideline. Tight end, flanker, high backfield. Isolation play. Slipped one tackle. We tried roll blocking him. Got to five yards back. So you take a big guy like that, you can't just roll your body into his legs and hope you trip him up. You got to put chest on chest and drive your feet. Got to wrap the arms. At a halftime score, River Valley 47, Elgin 7. Bowser breaking huddle again. Third and four again, for two Toledo. Two tight ends, flanker right, eye backs. Oh, Looks like full movement back, back here. I didn't think they were set. No. Fourth down and about a short one. Boy, they're going to go for it here. I think they're going to go with a long count, try to get us to jump off sides. If not, they're going to go straight ahead. Nine minutes to go in the half. Two tight ends, power eye right. There's the isolation. Oh, we had him in the backfield oh. and missed him. Missed him twice. Got to make that tackle on the backfield. Did a great job. Good call. Sent that linebacker right to where the mesh point was. Not making a hit. First and 10 now with the Toledo Bowser Rebels. Rodgers made a tackle for Hardy. Should have been stopped in the backfield that time. Again, the failure to put chest on chest. We reach for people. Got to drive up, got to wrap them up and drive your feet. Sort of like that double leg takedown, right? That's about what it should be. Hit, hit the double leg and take him to the ground. Two tight ends, power eye again. Discussion in the Bowser backfield. Toledo's really gaining that momentum. Long count, try to get us a jump. Give to the fullback straight ahead. They're just running right up the gut. Madison on the tackle for Harding. First quarter score, North Union 14, Pleasant 7. Second nine on the 30 of Harding. Bowser breaks the huddle. Got a slot right, tight end left, high backs, ball snap, play action, little hitch and go, dumps the ball underneath. Man, they get a first down. Depends on the mark. I think you're right, Coach Vanderhoff. First down and 10. Ball sitting on the Harding 20. Hey, their passing game is not real flashy. They come out, 
They throw the ball on a short route when they need to. But basically their whole idea is ball control, drive the football. Looks like a counter trap. Got him in the backfield, we gotta wrap and finish him up. Need to get some bodies flying around out there. Too much standing around. Indo made the stop for Harding there. He's up a second and eight. Again, looks like we're doing a lot of standing around, waiting for somebody else to finish off the pile instead of racing in there and doing the job ourselves. The way they keep running the ball, setting up the pass play. Bowser breaks the huddle. Looks like they're unbalanced this way. I, triple I. There's the isolation again. There, there we did. We wrapped the arms. I hope they run that play all night because it's too slow. When they go to a two back set, they beat us. They go three backs, it's too slow getting there, and we get people to the pile. Brings up a third and five. On the Hardy breaking 15. the huddle. Tight end right, split left, power eye, looks like it was a wing. They trade over to unbalanced wing, unbalanced slot. High backs, toss to the second back. He's short of the first down. We got fourth down and four. They got five going in. They may be going for a field goal here, Coach Vanderhoff. Looks like they set the ball up in the middle of the field to get the field goal here. Well, they brought the block on the field. Kick is oh, blocked. It's blocked. It's hitting the helmet. Harding can return Harding it. Harding takes the ball. They can return it. We're getting down the sideline. A.J. Jones with the ball. A.J. Jones bringing back the block field goal. Harding takes over the ball at the 31-yard uh, line, Coach Let's Vanoff. get that momentum back right here. We got good field position. Washington on the stop for the Rebels. Kobe Trautman getting a call from the coach. Coach Wesley. Like to welcome a couple class reunions here tonight, Coach. We got the class of 1993, 20-year reunion, and I believe I just heard the announcement of 1978, 35th year reunion. Hardy comes out, two tight ends, eye backs with a flanker to the left. It's walled off. That's a good job of lowering the head, Keontae Rogers. Now, if we can keep cracking four and five in a clip, we'll be in good shape. Problem is, we've had every time we've moved the ball, two really good drives, we've held. We got to just move the ball. Mistakes here. Stay away from the mistakes. Again, two tight ends. Oh, they Cody's faked the got counter. A lot of running room. A lot of running room. Looks like he might be just a tad short. He started that slide a little bit too early out there. Yeah, he Should looks like he's going to be about a yard oh, short. Oh, they said first down. They signaled first down, Steve. We're in good first shape. Slid right into it, I guess. I don't know. He slid. We'll take it. Momentum we'll take it. took him. First and 10 on the 42 of Harding. Harding breaks the huddle. Two tight ends. Flaker left. Eye backs. Kobe takes the ball, hands off, isolation Back to Keontae left. Rogers, good Bust running run room. Outside. Nice okay. run. Tell you again, quick hitter, the faster we go at him. Looks like they're trying to take number 30, their inside linebacker, and bring him almost every time. He doesn't get through. He does a lot of reading, so he's not really penetrating. Keep picking on that side. Bowser's defense is sort of like a 3-4. Uh, yeah, Ball set on the Two tight Toledo ends, 47. Right. Isolation to the left. Roger the ball 
Brought down from behind by number seven for Bowser. Eric on the stop. Once again, a reminder, no stopping or standing between the fence and the stand. Thank you. Got a second 10 on the Toledo 46. Clock's running 346 in the first, second quarter. Harding still has two timeouts. Harding's ball, clock's running down. We're going to run out and get 10 seconds on the play clock. We had problems with this last week, trying to get the ball off in time. There's the counter double. Jay Scott, got some running room. It might be a little bit short. But puts he might, he might have slid for that first down. Third down and short, we're in good shape. Okay, we got that clock running. Clock's running. Yeah, we want to utilize the timeouts. We're going to have to start picking up the pace here a little bit, Coach. Do what? I couldn't hear you. We're going to pick up the pace here a little bit. Yeah, uh, the clock's running and we're not. <laughs> Two tight ends, flanker. There's an isolation look. Now we got the first down. We got the first down. We got. That'll stop the clock to move the change. We gotta get that next play going right here. They be they should be up on the line. Let's get it Ball going. Ball spotted and they're rolling the clock. We gotta get a play in. Ball's on the rebel, 33 yard line, first and ten for Ann Harding. Yeah, we're down to 230, coach. We, got, we only got eight seconds left to go on the clock. But it's got to call timeout. He got it off. Got the ball carrier. LJ got to the 30 yard line. Washington on the top. Just from Park. Clock's still running. Second and eight. Referee spotting the ball. We got two minutes to go in the quarter. And yeah, we don't have a two minute warning. Well, we still got all three time. Oh, we got two timeouts. Expect him to throw the ball here, coach. Still two tight ends. Same formation, high backfield. Play action. There's no receiver. There's nobody there. Almost like they stopped the clock there on that play. I don't know who he's throwing to because there was nobody in the pattern. We were downfield blocking. Somebody screwed. AJ Jones was the closest to the ball. And he'll, oh, wait, now we got an ineligible receiver. That was a total screw up right there. That brings up a third and 13. Or I'm sorry, second 13. That's, you can't be making those kind of mistakes. Looked like what the wide receiver looked like he was blocking. We got people downfield that shouldn't be there if we're going to throw it. We're in our somebody, fourth game, coach. Somebody, somebody went to the, called the wrong play or ran the wrong stuff. Play, act, play clock's going down. We got 10 seconds on the play eye. clock. Waggle play, waggles right. Wide open. Ooh, that Another might be an offensive. I don't know. That could be an offensive pass interference. That's your preliminary call there, Coach. Offensive pass interference on Harvey. Pass interference on the offense. Yeah, that defender Looks did like fall he down. off the mid that Randy's hook route. That's going to push us back. 132 to go in the half. Got a second and 23. 15 more yards. Wow, coach, second 28. Second now what do you do? Again, we just shot ourselves in the foot again. Great drive going, and we turn around and make mistakes like that. Can't that make should those not mistakes. Happen. We need to start executing. We cannot make those kind of mistakes. We didn't make those mistakes back when we watched the Delaware scrimmage. Try to get it all back right here. We just go about halfway here. Get some positive yards. Draw. There we go. Oh, nice. 
You can't hurdle. It's coming back. That's a good call, Coach. We got celebration, but it's going to come back. It looks like it's coming back. He hurdled over the top of that tackler. Well, the positive was it was a good run. Personal foul hurdling. It was a good run. That's kind of like instincts just kind of took over for LJ, it looked like. You know, he's a high jumper. He jumps 6'4", high jumper. You got a guy that goes low on you. Instinct takes over, and what do you do? You jump over the pile. Hey, hard to blame him on that. You know, you hate to see, you hate to see the touchdown come back. The second 23 for the president. Got an referee's right timeout. Back, come back with that same play. That was a great play. Good play call, had him stretched. Great blocking on the line. Could have drove a truck through that hole. Like I said, I, I, coach, I coach him in track. He jumps six foot four, a high jumper. Not bad for a man of his size. You got Keontae yeah, Rogers pistol. in the backfield. Quick slant. Oh, oh deflected at the line of scrimmage. Got a third and 23 now, coach. We got 102 left, third down and 23. Again, spread formation, trips left, split right, pistol formation. Snap, draw play again. But they were ready for us that time. Nice ankle tackle. Fourth down and 20 oh, yard line, uh, 20 yards probably, close to it. Clock's running down. Looks like we're calling him over the sideline. We're gonna wait till that clock runs down at the uh, pl play clock. Probably call a timeout with one second left. Then we'll go probably go out and then try to make attempt the punt. Settle for no score at the half, it looks like. 18 seconds to go in the first half. Bowser zero, Marion Harding zero. Harding with a timeout. You're watching tel uh, channel 18, Marion City Schools, a telecom production. that stands up to life? Shaw makes hardwood, tile and stone, laminate, and resilient floors We're that back. are as beautiful as- We're back. We're back, we've got 18 seconds to go in the first half. Marion Harding zero, Talita Bowser zero. Harding with fourth down and 22, attempting the punt. Very punt short kick, it's high, air. it's straight up in the air. Takes a Harding roll. Oh, we should let that clock keep going there, Coach. Seven seconds to go. I'm assuming here Toledo will say. Uh, Harding has a man down, number 37. Nick Glass. I don't know if they slid on the wet grass or what, but he kind of just is down. Yeah, we got that steady down for. That's definitely going to be a factor in the second half coach we've we've controlled base of the ball game right now take away the mistakes that's that's been the crucial we've made some big mistakes at the wrong time we've had good drives we had at least three good drives and all three of them ended up with penalties and credit to both teams they haven't turned the ball over that's true that's true okay. well we have an injury on the field this is uh marion city schools channel 18 Telecom Production. 
So here we are in the fourth quarter. No time left, and the touchdown is under review. Hey, guys, what do you think? We're not ready to go yet. Is there any way you can send this thing into overtime? Yeah. No problem. I don't know what he was looking at, but we're going into overtime. Buffalo Wild Wings, you have to be here. This could finally end it. Oh, my. The whole place is in the bottom. I hope that's not his knee again. We're back on. They're helping Nick Glass off the field. I hope he doesn't have a knee problem again. He had surgery last year on that knee. Had a, basically almost a total reconstruction. It's even great to even see him back on the field. But I don't know whether he slipped on the wet grass or what. Toledo Bowser will bring the ball out. Seven seconds to go in the first half. Score still, Harding zero, Bowser zero. I'd say this ought to be the last play of the half, Coach. Well, they may even take, take a knee because they're going to get the ball in the second half. Coach. Take the ball, take a knee. Go there you go. The Clock will run down. Bring out the tarp. Bowser will be getting the ball in the second half. Harding will be kicking off. This is a um, Channel 18 Marion City Schools production. Marion Harding zero, Toledo Bowser zero.